It's Friday, February 5th, and this is Honest Faith. everyone. Welcome back to Honest Faith. First one of the new year, a little bit late, but there's been some stuff going on, some thinking and some reshuffling, and decided to start these up again based off of what I see going on around the world. Hopefully I can get back into a more weekly routine into making some videos for you guys. Today I wanted to talk about one or two topics that have been catching my attention recently. And the first one came from a video that Trisha Hirschberger did, and it was about political correctness. Have we gone too far and have we not gone far enough? I replied to that video, and I will post a link in the description below to that. A link to hers as well. But political correctness is something that's really been pushed heavily over the course of my life. It's something that was kind of, don't be offensive to these people. I remember it's not retard, it's mentally challenged. It's not midget, it's a little person. There were all these different other words to use to describe somebody instead of what had commonly been used. Because the words that had commonly been used were taking on derogatory meanings. And I understood political correctness then. As I have grown up and as I have become an adult, the political correctness culture seems to have shifted. It's not just avoiding simple words and simple phrases is it's a whole idea of how you speak and how you talk about another culture. This is a very good thing. Being a politically correct society is a wonderful thing and pushing to be more politically correct can be a good thing. However, being so politically correct can also be a bad thing. When you are being so politically correct, you turn into not being able to call out anybody on bad actions, bad choices, or bad things. You condone everything that you, they do. You start allowing everything they do. And a lot of people will say that this is just being a slippery slope and that I'm falling down too fast. However, there is some truth to it. When we start allowing and letting things happen because of political correctness, because we're afraid of what to say to it, then it, it starts going too far. I think one of my favorite examples right now are comedians are refusing to play and perform at colleges because the students get so offended by some of the jokes that they say. It gets to a point that a comedian can't perform in the context of a comedy show, then we have a problem. That's going too far. I've read some articles online about the coddling of this, of this new generation that's coming into college that they're so sheltered and they're so protected that they're not going to be prepared for the real world when they get out there. Now this brought up an interesting point. The real world is harsh and people take advantage of you and they say a lot of things. But at the same time, when we're pushing for a more politically correct culture, maybe we can also change the way that the world treats people. Maybe we can soften that edge that is out there for everybody to face and start being just a little bit more kind and a little bit more loving, and a little bit more compassionate. The next topic I wanted to talk about was this whole idea of making rape legal on private properties thing that I'm not even gonna mention his name and I'm not even gonna link to his article or anything, but it was about the idea of restoring men's rights in this country and men's rights around the world. The only right we have as men is to be nice and exist along peacefully with everybody else that's not the same gender as us. There isn't anything that says anywhere that we are the overall suppressive dominant gender on this planet. Specifically, notice how I said suppressive. We need to exist side by side with people. We need to love along with people. We need to be there with people and for people in a caring way. And there's nothing wrong with being tough about it, being gruff about it, being stern about it at some times. But realize everybody can be stern and rough and strong about something at different times. It does, their gender isn't the defining moment. We're supposed to be there to support and encourage and protect one another, not trying to dominate people, not trying to make them do what we want them to do. And this whole idea of raping being legal in private property, even if it was satire, that is so disgusting as a joke that it's, it's frustrating and I'm trying to stay clean with my language because it's a new year. So as far as PC goes, try not to hurt people with your words. But at the same time, realize if you get offended, just develop some thicker skin. And if you're having struggles with your manhood, realize you're just another person on the planet. Try to get along and live happily together. Like and subscribe. My name's Colin and this has been Honest Faith.